Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Thursday, August 26, 2021. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Well, it is hazy, hot, and humid out there already. And it's only about 8 a.m. in the morning. Temperatures this morning range from the upper 60s to mid 70s over the northern interior, mid to upper 70s along the coast. With your dew points, and this is where it makes the difference, in the upper 60s to mid 70s we're not really seeing any extreme temperatures i mean you're talking about 89 to 92 degrees not something that you would unusually see for this time of year but it's the dew points it's the moisture in the atmosphere that's making the difference and that's why we have heat advisories basically throughout the i-95 corridor that's going to lead to a heat index pushing into the mid 90s to lower 100 so definitely Use some caution, drink plenty of water, and try to stay cool. You can thank the transport of a tropical air mass around the Bermuda High right into our neck of the woods, producing southwesterly winds. We have high pressure throughout the region, which you can see right here, that's dominating the area. This weak trough could be a, a development of a sea breeze trough later on this afternoon, so definitely watch out for that. But you see this stationary front back here? This will be moving through late this afternoon through the evening hours with the threat for some isolated showers and thunderstorms. I think your best threat is going to be over eastern Pennsylvania and western New Jersey, basically right around the Delaware River Valley onto the west as this cold front approaches. And then for coastal locations, some isolated thunderstorms are possible late at night, but most of them will be weak. And take a look at our infrared satellite picture. You're probably having your attention drawn down here. This is a tropical disturbance. It's not an organized tropical low just yet, but pretty much every model guidance that we have suggests that this little disturbance will have the potential of developing into a rather strong tropical low and head towards the western and central Gulf Coast. So we're definitely going to have to watch out for that for this weekend on into early next week. And we're going to keep an eye on this because the development of this storm will eventually lead to remnant rainfall reaching our neck of the woods by the middle to end of next week. So the exact track will influence that potential. So that's certainly something to keep an eye on. Considering all the rainfall we've had of late, additional rainfall, which unfortunately we'll have this weekend, will only lead to an increased threat for urban and flash flooding. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Closer to home, you can see pretty much scattered cloud cover to hazy sunshine throughout the area as that humidity is well in the atmosphere. So let's walk through this forecast for today. Look for scattered cloud cover throughout much of the day, isolated thunderstorms developing towards the late afternoon and evening hours, temperatures rising into the mid to upper 80s over the interior, upper 80s to lower 90s everywhere else, with that humidity supporting a heat index in the mid 90s to lower 100s. The cold front slows down and basically stalls over the region by tomorrow and that's going to lead to the development of fog in the morning scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon low temperatures tomorrow in the mid in the upper 60s to lower 70s over the interior mid 70s along the coast and in your urban areas and high temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 80s over the interior and upper 80s to lower 90s along the coast and in your urban areas now on saturday and sunday the frontal boundary will sink to the south but we'll also have waves of low pressure moving along it. The fact that the frontal boundaries to the south of the region is going to support a southeasterly to easterly wind, that's an onshore flow that's going to keep the area much cooler with broken to overcast cloud cover and scattered showers. Not a complete washout, but certainly not the best weather conditions for outdoor activities. Look for low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s over the interior, upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast, high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s over the interior and along the immediate coast upper 70s to lower 80s in the delaware river valley on monday that frontal boundary sneaks a little bit further north ahead of a cold front that will be moving through in the late afternoon and evening hours that's going to generally spell scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the day with low temperatures ranging from the upper 60s to mid 70s and high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s now on Tuesday, look for showers in the morning followed by clearing skies in the afternoon. Look for low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s over the interior, upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast, high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s over the interior and mid to upper 80s along the coast. And then 
on Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to have to watch the remnants of whatever happens to develop, possibly a, a tropical storm or hurricane Ida, uh, <laughs> that will lift towards the region on Wednesday and Thursday, excuse me, leading to the threat for widespread showers and possibly some tropical thunderstorms. Temperatures are going to be a bit cooler. Look for low temperatures on Wednesday in the mid-60s to lower 70s, high temperatures in the upper, seven, upper 60s to mid 70s and on thursday low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s over the interior lower to mid 60s along the coast and high temperatures throughout the region in the mid 70s that is your forecast discussion for today of course i'm your meteorologist stephen d martino as always stay safe out there